Mental health issues affect not just women, but men too. To the men watching this, always keep in mind that you matter. Dito sa Pilipinas, ano yung pinaka-common mental health conditions mm-hmm. among men? First, we have the male depression. It is one of the biggest mental health issues in men. Statistics show that 5.5% of males, especially young adults, are suffering from depression. That's about half the number of women of the same age. But what's interesting, Ms. Bianca, is that depression is not usually identified among men because of the differences in the presentation of these symptoms, which are externalizing behavior. Behaviors in nature compared to females. However, while men are less likely to receive depression diagnosis and also attempt suicide at lower rates than women, they are more than two times more likely to die by suicide. Second, men are likely to abuse substances such as alcohol, marijuana, and hallucinogens, among others. They are more likely than women to have experienced psychosocial problems resulting from consumption of these substances as well. This is prevalent in our society because it might be seen as so socially acceptable for men and even considered masculine, it is less frequently recognized as a symptom of a male mental health problem. So anxiety disorders and post-traumatic stress disorders were reported to be common among males as well. I think nakaka bigat ng feeling kasi we know naman that it's real but when it's enumerated based on data talaga, based on facts, parang mas like wow. Totoo talaga siya. And hindi masyado nade-detect sa lalaki dahil iba ang presentation. Meaning, kapag babae, siguro ito yung mga mas common nating nakikita na dalawang linggo ayaw lumabas ng kwarto, hindi na nakaka-function, nakaka-toothbrush, nakakaligo, etc. etc. Don't feel like yourself. Paano na iiba? It is important to note that men have reported that they would be more reluctant to seek help even in informal setting like towards their friends, family members, no? and more likely to report that they would never seek psychotherapy for depression, for example. One of the biggest reasons why mental health problems are prevalent among Filipino men aside from the things I mentioned earlier is the stigma associated with recognizing and addressing mental health problems. Kaya nahihiya, natatakot silang humingi ng tulong, for example. Because in our society, wherein men are ascribed a strong foundation of our homes, it is assumed and expected that men do not need help. And men are strong and should act tough. Malakas ang mga lalaki, kaya hindi dapat palamyalam niya. Bawal umiyak ang mga lalaki, kaya hindi sila lumalapit doon sa mga mental health professionals or even in their friends. Yan ang stigma, whether coming from the person himself or sa ating society mismo. Okay, so are there signs? If ako ay isang loved one, mm-hmm. and I spot certain things that either my father, my brother, my husband, or my boyfriend, or my friend have or do, na that can give me a clue na, uy, parang may pinagdadaanan or there is a possible mental health issue underlying na. We should emphasize that men usually do not outwardly express their emotional struggles such as feeling of sadness, worthlessness, or hopelessness. We may see them as emotionally distant, cold, preoccupied most of the times. Instead, male mental health condition often manifests no, in this particular warning signs according to studies. So we have aggression and violence. There's anger, irritability, aggressiveness seems to increase each day and pose danger to self or other people. High risk activities including speeding, tailgating, and distracted driving, especially if seen as unlikely behavior of the person. So another one is substance abuse. There is a constant misuse of alcohol and or drugs that now interferes with personal and work functioning or daily activities of daily living. Physical issues such as chronic headaches or stomach aches without a clear medical cause could also be a symptom of an underlying mental health problem in men, even in women. There's also feelings of restlessness, difficulty sleeping, significant appetite and weight changes. And there's a sudden changes in the mood, for example. No? Hindi siya yung usual or typical na behavior ng taong mahal natin. And fatigue, no? changes in energy level, obsessive, excessive, or constant overthinking. These signs no, are probably no yun yung way ng person of asking for help. Wow, thank you for listing that down. While you were listing it down, ang daming parang from a flashback na possible people in my life who I've mm-hmm. seen na ganon. Is it correct for me to say, dun sa listahan mo, a lot of it has to do with mood and temper? Right. Mm-hmm. 
Why is that? Studies would show, Miss Bianca, that ito yung way of expressing nila. They are more of externalizing behaviors in nature compared to women na internalizing. Probably, no? Um, because again, of the stigma or the perception ascribed to men that they should be strong or tough, no? Crying is a sign of weakness, no? Kaya they are showing it in the way na they're still aggressive. They're still probably in power, whether conscious or unconscious of these behaviors. You can listen to the longer conversation of Bianca with Bulan on Paano Ba to the podcast exclusively on Spotify. You can also follow and tag Paano Ba to on Instagram and you can join our private Facebook group. <music>